Might it be possible to do corn on corn without the yield hit we normally see in North Dakota? When we plant corn on corn, we tend to see a 10, 15, maybe even 20 bushel yield loss for that corn on corn that second year. But we know that corn on soybean tends to do really well in North Dakota. So the idea here was to plant the corn in this row this year and move over 30 inches and plant it on top of the soybean, trying to get away from maybe that corn on corn loss. And then the other thing with the soybean was we're trying to fix a little nitrogen. I don't know that that worked. We picked uh, dicamba resistant soybean in this system. So it, it gave us several herbicides that we have labeled in corn as well as in soybean. Residual herbicides and over the top herbicides that are legal and labeled on both crops. And then we wanted to make sure, again, weed control is one of my first main concerns. If you're not controlling the weeds, you will have diversity. It's just not the diversity you want. The weeds will take over. What we are seeing in the 60s here though is disappointing. These are small cobs and they're light. It's not yielding as well as I wanted it to. We can see there's a lot of tip back going on here. We were dry towards the end, but we were really wet this spring, so we should have had enough moisture. So there's something else going on here. I think we're gonna have some significant yield loss in the 60s. People trying 60 inch corn or brand new practices on their farm should do it small in a controlled setting and keep an eye on it and watch it closely. Sometimes the cool new thing just isn't as sexy as you wanted it to be, and sometimes it doesn't work like it's supposed to. And I think that's kind of what I'm seeing here. It's not working as great as we'd hoped it would. We're not giving up on it yet, but I'm certainly not gonna roll this out into large acres. This is gonna stay in test plots for a while. This is again where the details matter. Make sure that it's working for you with the time you have, the equipment you have, the land you have, the fields you have. Those are all specific to you.